Hello and welcome to another on-demand migration instructional video. My name is Luke and in this video we're going to show you how to create a migration project and migrate users and mailboxes. So at this point the source and target tenant have been added and the appropriate consent granted. And when we select migration in the left navigation bar it tells us to create a project. And we're presented with a project creation wizard where we select the source and target tenants, provide the admin consent and global admin credentials with application impersonation, and then we're given two options to either start the discovery right away and open the project. But we'll finish this wizard with start discovery unchecked so we can show you how to manually start one. Upon project creation, you'll be presented with a migration project dashboard. And there have been some recent changes to the user interface but everything is actually more accessible than it was before. Under the welcome widget, you can select the next tasks for your migration project. And in this case, we need to discover accounts. So we'll select discover from that widget. Then takes you to the accounts section where you can select discover and create a new discovery task. Here you can include statistics on mailboxes, schedule the task to run at a specific time, and name the task for organization purposes. Once you start the task, you'll have a green notification bar at the top of your screen where you can view the details of the task that was just created. So when you click View Details, you can watch the progress in the Tasks window. Upon Discovery Task Completion, we can go back to the Accounts tab and view all of the migratable objects from this Source to Target pair. From here, once you select an account, you can either create a matching task or even organize a batch of users within a collection. And when creating a matching task, you have the option to choose which attribute to match by. This is always important because some users may have the same display name in the source and target, but they're actually two different people. So during your discovery phase and your planning, you want to make sure that you take these accounts into special consideration. You may want to match on their mail attribute, mail nickname attribute, immutable ID, or employee ID instead, just to make sure the right source user gets matched with the correct target user. You can also clear existing matches for a specific account or accounts if there appears to be some incorrect matching. This is sort of a conflict resolution. And next, just like any other task, you can choose to schedule it, run it later, or run it right now. And you can name the task afterwards in the summary window. And just like before, after the task is started, we can use this notification to click View Details and watch the actual matching task take place. Then after the matching task is complete, we can go to the Accounts section and create an actual migration task for this account, where we can select any of the custom target domain names available, schedule the task, and name the task. Then we can click View Details on this task or find it in the Tasks section. So after this user account migration task is complete, all metadata and attributes will be copied over to the target. After the account migration task completes, we can then select the Mailboxes tab or Mailboxes section. We can select our migrated user account. We can see that they have a target mailbox address and much of the same collection control tools are available to you here as well. Here we'll select Migrate Mail. In the first window of the Mail Migration Wizard, you get to select a licensing plan. You can either assign the same one to the user in the target or choose to keep the same plan type that they had. We then have some migration options available to us, whether we want to migrate from a primary to a secondary mailbox, but in this case, we will migrate to a primary mailbox and we'll migrate only mail, calendar, contacts, and tasks and notes. You can migrate only specific folders if you wish and even select a date range of items to migrate. And lastly, you can schedule and name the task and click finish. And provided the account specified is a global admin with application impersonation rights, the mail content will be migrated. That concludes this demonstration of creating a migration project discovering migratable objects, migrating a user account, and migrating their mailbox. Thank you for watching. To learn more about Quest On Demand or to access a free trial, please visit us online.